combined trends of increased inequality and decreasing mobility. President Obama has made a big push to address the income gap this year, and he'll likely bring this up during Tuesday's State of the Union speech. So what's it like out there? It turns out U.S. income inequality is at its highest point since 1928. The richest 10 percent of Americans take in 50 percent of the country's income. Here's the change from just 30 years ago. A new poll by the Pew Research Center in USA Today found Americans are keenly aware of this gap. 65 percent believe it has grown in the past decade. But there's a clear partisan divide about what to do. 90 percent, yes, 90 percent of Democrats think the government should take on reducing the income gap. But only 45 percent of Republicans are for government help. One thing that hasn't changed much over the years is the income gap between races if we look at median incomes. All this wealth disparity can lead to some strong opinions in the U.S. When asked if the rich are more likely to be greedy, 55 percent of Americans said yes. And are the rich more likely to be honest? Only 12 percent thought so. As for the poor, 38 percent of Americans said a lack of work ethic was to blame for financial straits. So how does the U.S. fare in the global context? After taxes, America ranks second for income inequality in the developed world. One survey of top global leaders pegged income disparity as the second gravest trend facing the world. It was issue number one for specific regions. Back in the U.S., President Obama faces a constituency united over the problem, but divided on solutions. As for the economic system itself, only 36 percent of Americans feel it's fair to everyone. David Botti, BBC News, Washington.